Again. Happy Hanukkah, everyone. Happy Hanukkah, all of you on Facebook Live. Happy Hanukkah to those watching the news later on tonight. Tonight is the eighth night of Hanukkah. It is a wonderful, wonderful honor to be able to light the menorah together, even though, happy Hanukkah, even though we are virtual and socially distant, um, we are very grateful to the governor and the governor's office for allowing us to do this in person, um, obviously with all the precautions involved. Hanukkah is a, is a very special time. Our yearly tradition here is, is very special to us. We were, we were worried. Um, we're very thankful that we made it happen. The, the Hanukkah menorah, as you can see, there are eight candles, and then there's the middle one, which is a bit taller than the others. And the tradition that we have is to honor a servant of the community, a politician usually, someone who does good work for people in this state uh, on behalf of the community and all the people here, to light the center candle, because the center candle is the one that lights the other candles you'll notice how the center candle is above the other candles, right? Even though it's not as holy, it's not part of the mitzvah, the command from God. However, it is above and raised above the rest. Why is it raised above the rest? Because our tradition teaches us that when someone dedicates their life to help other people and to do good for other people, that, the humility and the service, raises them above. It gives them an ability to be able to lead and to walk forward in life. And so, we thank you for the work that you've done throughout the years, and specifically this year, and we look forward to many, many more years, happy and health, here, maybe other places, as the blessings continue to grow. I would like to ask Rabbi Yosef Levertov, the Chief Chabad Rabbi of Austin, to give us a few words uh, regarding the significance of Hanukkah on this eighth night, this full night. Thank you, Rabbi Mendi. Tonight we celebrate the last night of Hanukkah. Hanukkah is all about miracles. We are standing now awaiting miracles. We were waiting for a miracle during the times of the Hellenists when they were trying to destroy our oppress the Jewish people and their religion. And it, they, they were oppressing the freedom of, of religion and then came a group of Maccabees and they, out, they were outnumbered and they won the war and then when they came to the temple they were trying to light the menorah the seven branched candle the candelabra and there was only enough oil to, li to light to last for one day and it lasted for the time that it takes to bring oil fresh oil to light and, uh, and illuminate the darkness it's a very, very special lesson, and the lesson that we have from it is to illuminate the darkness with light. Light, a darkness, is not pushed away by brooms and sticks. Darkness is a little bit of light illuminates a lot of darkness. We are standing in a dark time in the day, a dark era, a hard year, hard times and we await for miracles. We light, everyone go home when you're at home and light your own menorah, your own candle, and move from day to day. We move to, to the eighth day, which is the top of the days. So we are going to light tonight. This is the final night, the final candle of the season. So I would like to bless our, our governor and every all all the, the public servants that are with us, and the, the JP and his family, that we should have a wonderful year, miracles, miracles in this pandemic, that we should all be able to gather together and do many, many good things together. We should all have health and wealth and happiness. Have a wonderful Hanukkah. Before I ask the governor to say a few remarks, I first would like to ask um, our honorees. They know that the Newman family has a gift they would like to give the governor, a small gift. Uh, the Newmans are being honored with this beautiful menorah lighting. JP is going to light the actual candles um, because they are local leaders in the community.
for many, many years involved with Chabad, with APAC, with ADL, with many other organizations and causes in the community. And we only thought it would be proper and right for them to be honored with this beautiful, beautiful honor and to light the, join the governor in lighting the Texas menorah, as we have dubbed it. I'd like to ask JP and Zach, they want to come up and um, present the gift. Oh, the whole family. Thank you, Rabbi, so much. It's an honor to be here. Governor, thank you so much for celebrating with us. So my son, Zach, is going to tell you a story. We got you a Hanukkah gift from the Newman family. And it's a very special gift. Zach, why don't you tell me a little about the history of this gift? Because it's a really special relationship because it comes from Israel. And new technology, we know how supportive you've been with the Texas-Israel relationship. So we really thought a lot about you today, and this is the gift we wanted to share with you. So about four months ago, and uh, I emailed a, comp I emailed, uh, a company called Synovia. These are the mask makers, what I'm wearing right now. And they, um, they pr provide special fabrics with metals in them to, make, uh, to kill the coronavirus on contact. So these are one of the most protective masks in the world. From Israel. From Israel. And here you go. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> They match ours. <laughs> That's great. I can't wait. 99.9% 99 .9 kill rate on two independent studies. Good. So, yeah. I love it. I'll wear it. Good, good, good. Thank you all very much. Absolutely. Happy Hanukkah. Thank Happy Hanukkah to you all also. Thank you. So, should we... Wait, the governor did not. No. We would like to ask the governor to say a few words. He always shares with us his thoughts and remarks on this wonderful Hanukkah. Would you like to ask the governor to say a few words as well? Well, I want to start out by thanking the rabbis uh, for joining with us here tonight for this uh, menorah lighting as well as the celebration of Hanukkah. You know, it's so important in challenging times like these that we hold fast to uh, our uh, religious and faith-based uh, ceremonies uh, like celebrating Hanukkah. Uh, we uh, will not let uh, anything like COVID interrupt with us gathering together and uh, thanking God for the miracles uh, that we see in our lives. And just like that, we wanted to make sure that this year, just like every year, uh, we were here on the Capitol steps, uh, lighting this menorah, uh, showing the entire state of Texas and the entire world that Texas still celebrates Hanukkah even during the time of COVID. Similarly, along the lines of what the Newmans and uh, the rabbis were talking about, we. This year, as we being my wife and I this year, continued another tradition. Before COVID arose, my wife and I once again uh, took a trip to Israel. And while we were in Israel, we went to the Western Wall. We you know, laid a wreath of remembrance of the Holocaust Museum. And uh, we also shared an evening with uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu. It was on a uh, mountainside that uh, overlooked the old city of Jerusalem. And during uh, the course of the evening, uh, the Prime Minister told story after story uh, about uh, years and years uh, of challenges that uh, the Jewish community has faced, uh, going back to the very beginnings uh, of the old city of Israel. And uh, through it, we learn uh, the lessons of the uh, resiliency, uh, the suffering, the overcoming uh, the suffering, the perseverance uh, that uh, the members of the Jewish faith uh, have experienced uh, for such a long period of time. But also we recognize the friendship uh, that has persevered through all of those challenges, the friendship between uh, faiths and cultures. And it's that type of friendship that brings us together here tonight. And so we're so proud to once again uh, to be here tonight during this year of COVID, still conti continuing with our religious traditions of, of lighting the menorah. And on behalf of my wife uh, and I, we wanna say a very happy Hanukkah to everybody uh, in the great state of Texas, uh, and may you be blessed uh, with hope, with peace, and perseverance. All right, we'd like to ask the governor to light the shamash. We are going to do the transfer in which the governor lights the actual torch we're going to use, and then we're going to symbolically use that torch to light the torch at the center as well.
Okay, we are now going to ask JP to say the blessings on the mitzvah, meaning the blessings on the candle lighting, and there we go. That was done. Okay, when you're ready. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Halom Asher Kiddishanu B'mitzvah Etav Vitzivanu Lahavak Nir Shel Hanukkah. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlom Sheasa Nesim Laavutenu Bayamim Hahim Bazman Haze. Amen. Please join me, Mazel Tov. Please join me in song as we sing together. Ma'ostur Yeshuati Lechana Leshaveyach Tikon Beitefilati Vishav Todan Ezaveyach I'd like to thank you again for this wonderful honor and for joining us. Wishing you much success and blessing in all your, all that you do for this great state and for the country. Thank you. Thank you. Have a happy Hanukkah. If you're at home, you can light menorah now. And uh, we wish you a great last day of Hanukkah. Fill your menorah up, light all the candles, and have a wonderful time with all your delicious Hanukkah food. Happy Hanukkah.
I can, I can see it. So, do we need to move out more? You're good, sir. Okay. Right Come on in. All right, right here. One, two, three. One more. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Excellent. You. Right. Happy Hanukkah. Good to see you again. Good to see you all. Great to meet you on a visit to Texas. Great, great leader. Good luck with you guys. Thank you. I want to make sure you're in our circus of family. Happy Hanukkah. Yeah. All right, great. Thank you very much. Thank you. 